Hey guys, this is Sylvia and today I'm going to teach you guys how to do a DIY at home toner that will help you guys out um, when you have brassy, orangey, yellow tones in your bleached hair. So you first want to grab a mixing bowl if you have a plastic bowl to use for hair dye, that's great. For me, I just use a regular bowl and put aluminum foil over it so that it doesn't stain the bowl. Then you're going to need any white conditioner. I chose to use Pantene Pro V's Repair and Protect because when you have the DIY toner in your hair, it actually kind of works like a leave-in conditioner. So it's great to choose a conditioner that is actually good for your hair while it sits in there. Then you're going to put a whole lot of this into a bowl because that will work to dilute the dye that you'll be mixing in. Now you want to get a semi-permanent hair dye in a purple tone. I'm using Manic Panic's Ultraviolet. Now put just a little bit of this into the conditioner. Trust me, a little bit goes a long, long way. So how this works is that on the beautiful color circle, purple is across from the like orangey, yellowy tones. So what we're doing is basically getting the opposite color to just cancel each other out. Now if you have blonde or white hair, you want to get a really, 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 really light purple, like super pastel, pale purple. But if you have color hair that has purple tones in it, like I do, you can go for a little bit more purple in it, but still keep it very, very light. Trust me, the dye is a lot more powerful than it looks. So I demonstrate this on two types of hair that I had. On the right, I had my pink and purple hair that was from a couple months back that was fading and kind of turning orangey. And then on the left is when I had fully white hair with purple tones to it, um, and I just have orangey roots from when it faded. So it would actually be better if you guys had a hair dye brush for this, but I could not buy one for the life of me anywhere around me. So I just used a small comb. So on the left-hand side, I'm just focusing the darker purple dye on my roots to just cover that strong orange. Whereas on the right hand side, I'm putting the super pastel light purple all over my hair to get rid of the orangey tones. Usually I just like to leave it in until it dries, but if you have like super blonde or white light hair, maybe just leave it in for like 15 to 30 minutes. Then you wanna shampoo it out with cool water. I like using the Fade to Five Vibrant Color Shampoo by Pantene. It's from their expert collection, which is why it looks a little bit different than the regular Pantene product. I like the shampoo because it helps keep my hair vibrant and help keeps it from fading, plus it helps prevent damage. So here are the before and afters, as you can see on the left my hair is very orangey and then on the right it has toned down the orange and here on the left you can see how gross and orangey my roots were and I also look really gross in that photo because I just came back from exams so that's a little bit embarrassing and then on the right my hair is a lot more purpley right at the roots and you can see that vibrant color so I hope you guys found that useful let me know in the comments below if you guys have any questions and I'll talk to you guys again soon see ya